Moving on, understanding a common English phrase. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a very common but interesting English phrase, moving on. This phrase is used frequently in everyday conversation, and understanding its nuances can really help in mastering the English language. So, let's explore what it means, how to use it, and some examples to make it crystal clear. The phrase, moving on, can be understood in two main ways, literal and figurative. Literal meaning, in its literal sense, moving on means physically leaving a place or situation. It's about changing your location or stopping what you're doing to do something else. For example, after the concert, we're moving on to the restaurant. Figurative meaning, more interestingly, moving on is often used figuratively. It means progressing from one state or situation to another, especially emotionally or in life stages. For example, she's moving on from her breakup, signifies emotional transition and growth. Moving on can be used in various contexts. Let's look at some in personal development. When talking about personal growth or overcoming challenges, moving on reflects a positive change. Example, he's moving on from his past mistakes and learning a lot. In meetings or discussions, in a professional setting, moving on is often used to transition between topics. Example, now that we've discussed the budget, let's move on to the marketing strategy. In relationships, in the context of relationships, moving on frequently signifies recovery after a breakup or loss. Example, it's been a year since they split up, and she's finally moving on. Even though, moving on is a straightforward phrase, there are common mistakes learners should avoid. 1. Not using it as a phrasal verb. Remember, move and on need to be used together for this specific meaning. 2. Confusing it with physically moving objects. It's not about moving furniture. It's about transitioning from one state to another. 3. Overusing it in inappropriate contexts. Be mindful of the situation. For instance, it might be insensitive to say, move on to someone grieving a recent loss. I hope this video helps clarify the meaning and usage of moving on. It's a versatile phrase that, when used correctly, can add depth to your conversations and understanding of English. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more English language tips. Keep practicing, and you'll be moving on to English mastery in no time. See you in the next video.